Genomic testing for beef cattle has been talked about for years and now proving its value in selection. But many related tools are still on the horizon. Well, genomic technologies are really just uh, at the beginning stages. We now have the power to be able to make affordable testing uh, at a very uh, commercial basis uh, and make it available to everyone in the cattle industry. And I believe that sequencing technology, as it's really decreased in price to be well under $1,000 per animal, uh, that's going to add another layer of information that's going to be extremely valuable to the cattle producers in the future. Bishop says as the databases grow, so will the industry's ability to make very specific changes. If we can measure a trait and get a good measurement, an accurate phenotype, then we can correlate trait, uh, uh, SNPs or, or markers uh, to that trait and we can find DNA sequence that's related to that trait. And when we can do that, that gives us great predictive power to test and use that information in animals where we cannot measure that trait. Sometimes it's hard to get phenotypic data for specific characteristics that affect profitability. That's where DNA testing really shines. Like for instance, we can't feed every animal and collect individual feed intake data. We won't be able to measure their response to vaccines or their ability to shed viruses. But we'll be able to use that information that we already know from controlled populations and predict what their outcome will be based on their genotypes. The accuracy of genomic tools keeps increasing in tandem with a wider availability of the test to all cattlemen. The price points are reducing uh, all the time on what it costs the producer, but the value to them is increasing exponentially. I'm Bob Cervera.